Aries, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from the 1st to the 5th of March. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Aries, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future. I'm gonna be clarifying the cards and pulling some advice. Okay, so your challenge for the first week of March is the Four of Cups. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Pentacles upright. So I feel for you, Aries, there's definitely something that's going on uh, in your life where you're kind of like a question mark, like what's really happening, what's going on? Um, I feel honestly, when it comes to your challenge, there's something to do with another person. Okay, I'm really strongly getting that. So we're gonna clarify this. We're gonna get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Knight of Wands, you have the Queen of Cups, and you have the Wheel of Fortune. So it looks like in the recent past, um, you met with someone, like you connected really um, well with someone here, but I feel like in the past, Aries, there was a lot of on and off between you and this person. So sometimes it was great, sometimes it was amazing, other times it wasn't, okay? And I do feel in the past there was some sort of beautiful opportunity here. And that maybe, you know, means that you and this person came together at some point, okay? We're gonna find out more in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the King of Cups, you have the King of Wands and the Two of Wands. So I keep seeing like court cards. I keep seeing, you know, two cards together. So this is definitely something to do with another person. Of course, you have the King of Cups and the King of Wands. So again, it's like in the present moment, your love for someone is developing even more. And in the past, it may have not felt like that Aries. It didn't feel like you really, um, felt like you were going to commit to this person but in the present moment there's a very very strong bond but that's being challenged in the present moment with the two of wands which means there's a decision that needs to be made and we're going to find out more about that for you in a moment now in the near future you have the five of swords you have the ace of cups and you have the star okay so there's definitely going to be some sort of new beginning in love i feel like you're finally going to solidify something with um, a new person that you've started dating or may maybe you're married or there's something here about a new beginning okay and if there's issues in the present moment i don't see this person in the near future giving up on this because you and this person are going to fight as hard as you can to talk about the future and you know move towards the future there's definitely something here about another person like that's that's really what I'm strongly getting, okay? So let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify the Four of Cups. You have the Four of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and you have the Nine of Wands. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with ultimately really asking yourself aries do i still want to stick around do i still want to be involved in this is this something that i see myself really attaching myself to or should i disconnect because right now your biggest challenge here is is that something is signaling to you that it's almost like you may feel like you're not wanted or an offer that's being made is not really happening. There's a bit of a rejecting energy here, possibly that, you know, has led to some sort of challenge for you. So there's definitely two paths. And I think that's why in the present moment you have the two of wands, which is connected to your challenge, um, because these are two different directions, right? It's like, I'm still going to hold on to you, but I'm going to disconnect. So there's options here in terms of what it is that you want to do and it may be difficult for you to figure out okay so let's clarify the recent past let's clarify the wheel of fortune okay 
you have the six of wands the king of cups and you have the queen of pentacles This is like a common theme in your reading. I don't know what's going on. So you have the King of Cups here and you have the Queen of Cups here. Remember how I said this is about a relationship? And look, these two cards came out face to face. That's how it came out. So who are you seeing or who did you start seeing in the past? I still feel you were uncertain about this person, but then it looks like you and this person finally got together. It was very successful. You really didn't think that this was going to happen, but it ended up happening. And in the past, I feel for you, Aries, it just looks good. It looks really good. Like you met somebody. Wow. Amazing. Now in the present moment, it looks like it's getting more serious or it has gotten more serious, but now it's like, okay, are we growing apart? Are we different? What's really happening right now? So let's clarify the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? And what's the important message? You have the six of cups, the hermit and the four of wands. It's come to a point now where you may be thinking about really seriously committing to this person. Okay. This person that you are now, either you're already committed to this person or, um, you're at a crossroads right now in terms of, you know, asking yourself, should I, or should I not? Somebody here has been thinking a lot about the past and because the four of wands is here as well, there's a strong energy of, you know, maybe we're going to get married. Maybe we're going to move in. Maybe we're, you know, things are going to move to the next level with us. That's what I'm getting in the present moment. Tell me more about the King of Wands. You have the Ace of Cups, you have the Page of Pentacles, and you have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So in the present moment, uh, if you've had issues with this person and you are currently in separation, there could be a decision that you have to make about letting this person come back or making an offer to this person. Or some of you are feeling that this person may disconnect from you at some point. Okay. So, you know, it is a new beginning for a lot of you, but there's this fear maybe because now it's like you and this person, there's something here about it's getting more serious now. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing it's getting more serious now. I didn't think, and look at this Knight of Wands in reverse. One of the things I didn't want to say about you was, um, I feel, how do I say this? I feel like in the past Aries, you were someone who was kind of like dating different people. You kept your options open. And then this person came along and you're like, wow, this person just blew me away. Like that's what I'm getting in the present moment. It looks really good really really good so tell me more about this person who's this person in the present moment this person that you've fallen madly in love with <laughs> let's see we have the strength the king of pentacles and the ten of pentacles so i feel like in the present moment there's really this again there's this like i'm ready for this ten of pentacles this person right now really believes that they see themselves with you long term. There's definitely this strong energy between you and this person. So it is a new love. It is a new direction. It is um, talking about stability here and maybe being at a crossroads and making that decision. Like, are we finally going to live together? That's what I'm getting. OK, now in the near future, the Ace of Cups is showing up again. So the Ace of Cups has showed up in your reading twice. Um, and this is all about the future. This is about the future. It's like, I want to be with you. I'm like, look at this, the star. There's never any coincidences. Look, the star and the star. Okay, so let's clarify the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is clarified by the death. You have the Justice and the Knight of Cups. So I feel like in the near future, what is taking place for you is if there's been some sort of issues between you and this person, they are going to come towards you and they're going to want to have a new beginning with you. Okay. Something here is changing and transforming. And I feel like what's changing and transforming is the fact that something is being brought back to balance finally for you. And there is definitely this ending that's happening in the near future. And I think there's an apology here. I'm really getting that an apology, uh, having some sort of new beginning. 
you have the world in reverse, the two of wands in reverse and the nine of cups in reverse. Okay, so one of the things that I see here for some of you is there's still some sort of um, energy where in the near future, things are not completely done. So again, it's confirming what I just said. I said that a lot of you are gonna come out of separation. There may be an apology here. And the two of wands is in reverse. So somebody is rethinking a decision they made or, or a direction that you know they were gonna take, like ending things. I feel there's gonna be an apology. And even though it appears things are gonna end in the near future, there's a uh, opportunity to set them right with the justice. And that's why the star cards here, because it's telling you in the near future that, hey, there is still a shining bright star that you can wish upon. There's still that possibility. There's still that hope. And that's what the star card's talking about. So I really think what you don't see coming here, Queen of Pentacles, I think this person's gonna end up being a lot more stable than you think they might be. Um, you're still developing this connection. This is like a new connection because the Ace of Cups, it's a, it's a very fresh connection. Uh, so you, you know, pretty much are still learning about this person and it can go any way, but it looks good with the star card um, at the future position. So your reading today is like, wow. <laughs> wow, it's like the star of the, the week. Okay, um, you have the Hierophant. That was the first card that came out and that's why I was, I was going crazy like that. Um, so the Hierophant is talking about a commitment. So if you're questioning, should I marry this person? Are they the one? Well, it looks like they're the one. Eight of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Swords. So you have a decision here. You can choose to move forward with this and craft it and turn it into maybe whatever it is that you want or you can choose to be on your own, okay? Eight of Swords, a lot of you up until this point were like loners. You were by yourself all the time. You thought, you know, oh, I don't believe in love. Love can never happen for me. And now it's completely the opposite. There's like, am I gonna really be with this person? So your biggest piece of advice here moving forward, Aries, is to either continue to craft your life the way that you want it to, Eight of Pentacles, or you can choose to remain being on your own. Okay, Eight of Swords. But I think a lot of you don't want that. I think a lot of you really want to be with someone. You really want to spend time with someone. And that's where you're at right now, okay? So this is what I have for you, Aries. I hope you got something from this reading. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.